my friends it is time welcome back everybody welcome back to the next main quest of hogwarts legacy we need to go back to uh, professor nine fitzgerald in the map chamber i'm going to assume that there's going to be professor fig as well we need to attend the third and next trial professor fig is actually not here i don't know if that's good or bad but he's not here fitzgerald we are here tell me what's your desire hello professor i have news the goblins are looking for something another repository they've built drills to help with their search oh, most troubling are these repositories like the broken container i found at rookwood castle they are i fear we have no time to lose have a look at the map fortunately the next trial is fairly nearby it's hogwarts as you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. Well, really? I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Well, with that said, we need to sneak in to Professor, to the headmistress, headmaster's room. We're surely going to be able to do that, How right? Gain it's access to the headmaster's office. It can't be that difficult. Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Yes, Professor Fig, Professor Fig would know what to do because Professor Fig is great. Professor Fig knows exactly who they are for. Speak to Professor Fig in his office. I would say let's fast travel there and then we will speak to him. Back in the... Here we are. We are now going to talk to him. Hello, Professor Fig. Now here's Professor Fig. The Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lord Gok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository. Like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? That's the problem. Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the ministry on his behalf. You're great, now, Fig. time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. That looks great. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. 
I shall tell him we're to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Okay, now well... to find the Headmaster's house elf. Well, we're looking different, and I guess it's not going to be that easy as it sounds. Is there any time... Timestamp that is going to change? Do you have a moment, Professor? Professor... I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um... Places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only... <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I will decide. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Well, with now, that said... To determine which student... Stand proud, purebloods. <clears throat> The future is yours. Well, chewing with your mouth open. Where are your manners? Also, heard the headmaster approaching. That was quite an interesting conversation we had. Yeah. And I do like the fact that we are looking like the headmaster. It's actually, it actually seems pretty interesting. If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what? Professor Black, how are you, sir? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. <laughs> I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Well, we shouldn't be Has talking... Something is wrong, yes. We shouldn't be talking too much to the people. Professor, we should just continue. A word? Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But... The injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes, sir. Good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Please do. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Okay, well, um... What did we do to deserve him as a head? <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. I would say we should just go and continue finding our house elf. Hopefully we're going to be able to find... Headmaster, and he's coming this way. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? We need to go and find him. Let's go very quick. Ten minutes in. 
they all see that something is up with me obviously because i'm not the headmaster but they don't suspect anything i haven't time for any of you at the moment none professor none. a word please i don't want Hello, you professor black ah professor weasley how how delightful to see you sir ah uh, since i have you here i wonder if i might um speak with you about professor fig oh very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. And I don't miss him. I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... Well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Well... A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand. You shall never understand that man, and I would just like to go and talk to my house. Professor, Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance as his house elf. Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. You dare question me? How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. It's pure blood forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. <laughs> it is always pure. I don't understand. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha, ah, thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. <laughs> That is quite interesting, to be honest. That is quite interesting, to be honest. I love it. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. <coughs> oh. <coughs> what? Now oh, that's the wrong way. Why does the polyjuice potion wear off? Okay, we need to run. We need to go away. Nobody should see us. Nobody should see us. I don't know if it is actually a time game or not. Oh, made it just in time. It's wearing off. There we go. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Well, with that said, should be pretty obvious what we need to do. The Polyjuice plot. Quest completed. I mean, quest completed. The first part of the quest is probably completed. Because there's going to be a second part. That second part, can we do that already or not yet? Well, we cannot do the second part as well right now. With that said, this was it for today's episode. It was actually a 15 minute one. It was a very easy one, but a nice one. With that said, uh, if you did enjoy watching, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. We're going to be back very, very soon. Until then, see you next time and bye bye. See ya.